So I'm putting in a tremolo stay, tremolo blocker. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put a piece of duct tape down the middle here, just a little strip. Doesn't have to be perfect. So I can place it where I wanna place it, mark it, and then I can, doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna set it back just a little bit, eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, put it right in the center. I think that's about it right there. That looks pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect, but that's gonna be good. And I'll just come in here with my pencil and mark the holes. Just try to hold it down. This finish is a little bit slippery. And then what I'll do is I'll just center punch and pre-drill or pilot the hole. So if I pull this off, there. There's my two holes. Then next I'm gonna go ahead and use my center punch. Kind of give it a tap. Like that. Not have to be absolutely perfect, but close, very close. That should be good. You gotta be careful here because it's only so thick down in there. We don't wanna when we pilot the hole, it only needs to be maybe an, an eighth of an inch, no more than a quarter of an inch. So that's what I'll do next. I'll get my drill ready and I'll tape my drill bit off for depth so I don't exceed the depth. I taped off my drill bit here, you can see, so I don't exceed the depth. And I'll just go ahead and pilot those slowly. I'll go ahead and put the first screw in. I gotta find the other one. It got legs and walked away on me. It walked away on you. Hopefully I gave myself enough room. I did to be able to put the uh, threaded standoff in. Okay, there's that screw. Let me get another one. Okay, here's the, I found the screw. That's where my son took it. I found it on the floor. Fortunately, I had an issue with the screw on the second hole. I had to use a fatter screw to button it down. Um, it's holding now, it's fine. It doesn't look very pretty, but it's, it's there. It doesn't look very pretty, but See the bigger screw here. It's holding it really good though. The wood, the wood is not really thick in that area. And the pilot hole just kind of rounded out on me a little bit. So I tried to put toothpicks down in there thinking I could just like, oh, I'll just put some toothpicks in there. Nope, just fall right through into the pick guard. So what are you gonna do? So I wanna get this, I'm gonna get this stand off, set back here against this block. So I'll just keep doing that until it's where I want it. Probably a couple turns once it starts firming up and then I'll spin that nut like that closer to the, and tighten it down with my needle nose. There we go, now I'm starting to bite. And I want to get it, my tremolo, nice and even on top. This is pretty sweet. And now when I rest my palm in there, I don't have to worry about um, detuning the guitar. This will stabilize it more. Still a little play in there. I want to get it to where 
the play is minimized. Come on. I just want to pull this out. I'll probably put another spring in too. I just had to take it out just so I can see where I'm at here. Let's see. That's where I'm at. I'm trying to get the camera. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I'll get it up a little bit like that, a little more. Just up a, a smidge. It's laying back just a smidge. So I'll just keep adjusting it and that should be it. All right, let's see what we got here. It's uh, nice and firm. I can get that in the camera again. Not bad, that's pretty darn good right there. Not bad at all, that's pretty nice. And now it's nice and firm, so you can you can pull on it, but it will stop it from, so if I rest my palm here, you can hear it hitting. Um, it'll keep it from, from going uh, sharp. So I'll give it a shot, see how she sounds. And one other thing I forgot to mention is uh, putting the spring back on, putting an additional spring on. I just manhandle it and grab it. You can do it by hand. A little tricky, but I've been doing these for a long time. And you can do it by hand. There. So now there's like no play. <laughs> it's got plenty of back pressure. And now I can change strings without playing tug of war anymore. So now what's left is uh, adjust the neck relief, the action. Intonation's already been done. Usually I like to do uh, neck relief and then um, and neck relief and then pick and then action height and then intonation but kind of did a little bit backwards but it's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and check my relief on my neck. I'm liking this. I'm gonna cover this kind of ugly install. It works fine though. Um, ain't moving. No play. Cool. And then one other final thing I did while I had the guitar was just put some toothpicks and wood glue in here and then use my um, center punch and just like stuffed it like punch you know compacted it down in there the toothpick. So now these holes are nice and firm. The screws will have more to bite into. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Now, I'm just going to fire this bad boy up. I'm putting new stainless steel screws in here that I got from the hardware store that are close. Just because, one, they're stainless steel. And they don't end up looking like garbage. These cheap shit screws that Ibanez gives you. I like the uh, stainless steel they have like a slightly rounded head on them, which is kind of cool. Uh, doesn't make that big of a difference, but it does in regards to like fighting rust and that kind of stuff. They're just better quality screws. That's what I did with my pick guard. Like when I rebuilt this thing, I put all stainless steel flathead screws in here so they don't rust and look like garbage. Um, along with this amazing custom pickup job. Okay, now that I got my capo on here, I'm just gonna check my relief um, by fretting it, putting it in the playing position, fretting it where the uh, neck meets the body. And then on the seventh fret, seventh or eighth fret, just check the relief. I use a uh, one ten thousandths and uh, see if it needs any adjustment. Well, good news, no adjustment necessary. That's pretty much right where I like it relief looks good so no truss rod adjustment needed hip hip hooray on to putting the truss rod cover on give it one last wipe down if i haven't told you before this stuff is the best mcguire's quick interior detail cleaner couple sprays on the rag make sure your rag is clean doesn't have like bits of stuff in it. 
I'll just use a mister too. It's a little bit damp at the most, just a little bit. And man, does this stuff work well. This is my favorite. All right, look all that done. Beautiful. This is unreal. You got everything locked down. It's probably the best intonated guitar I've ever heard in my life. Like. Pretty damn good.